if you are feeling insecure remember that others are feeling insecure too so don't overestimate the competition and under, end up underestimating yourself i think it was the ceo of uh, costa Rica motors cosmos Matica. i love the way he said it he said don't for the fear of controversy deny yourself of any life experience so as the 2020 lego city marathon d-day kept getting closer i would hear on jingles and in the news on tv and on social media things like 20,000 people had registered for the marathon 50,000 people had registered for the 2020 lagos city marathon and i'll be like what 50,000 people what's the chance of one person little me with no prior marathon experience have among 50,000 eager and highly motivated people and you know it's like how you you are preparing for a job interview or bidding for a contract and you hear there are going to be 50,000 of you go, gone in for that very same job or for that very same contract. Once you hear that, I, I, I'm sure your heart will just sink. If you had hope before, you would just give up hope. Um, if, if, if you were expecting that, okay, great, my goal is to be among the very first hundred, you will, you will just revise your dream or revise your goal and say, okay, it's not going to be that bad if I'm, if I'm among the first 10,000. So fast forward, Marathon D-Day comes, I get to the Surulere Stadium some minutes before 6 a.m. and I see this long queue of people. I can't even see to the end of the line long queue of people w waiting to board buses and in my mind I'm just going yeah right the 50,000 people that are going to run this race only for me to discover that that long queue of people waiting to board buses were people for the 10 kilometer race which was slated to take scheduled to take place 10 kilometers before the finish line of the marathon and I was like what it, it for me that was such a huge lesson and you won't believe it that at the end of the day out of the the number of people that actually registered for the marathon perhaps a handful of people didn't even show up that day for the race now out of the people that showed up the majority of people were actually for the 10 kilometer race it was just a handful of us that were actually going to run the full marathon that were actually going to run the entire 42 kilometer race and for me that that was just a super super huge lesson how many times we don't dare to go for things we don't dare to reach we don't dare to go for setting goals because something is telling us in our minds that too many people are already gone for it i remember when i was going to register for the race you know online there was the option for the 10 kilometer race and the option for the 42 kilometer race and i was just like hey, 42 kilometer race are you sure you can do this but i remember discussing with my brother and he was just like Kyle, look you either go big or you go home do the 42 kilometers and i remember i i did i eventually i registered for the 42 kilometers and getting to that day to see that it was only a handful of us the majority a lot of the people didn't even think they didn't even attempt or feel that they could even do it not to even talk of registering for it and you know for me that was just a very very huge and powerful lesson that dare to go for the big goals dare to dream big because only a handful of people only very few people would dare to in the first place so i i read i read i, I read uh, arnold schwarzenegger's biography total recall and you know in the book he was talking about how at age 17 he goes in for his very first international bodybuilding competition and here he is this youngster with no experience among all these older more established bodybuilders and but here's the thing he get, gets in for the competition and discovers that he's in such great shape that he ends up getting second the guy is all over the moon he's so happy and so excited but on his way home you know on the flight on the flight back home that's when he begins to think to himself and now says that wow i came second what if i had really given this my best shot what if i had really prepared what if i had given this a hundred percent i could have come first i you know that it was at that time 
at that point that he made up his mind that he would never go into any competition to compete. He would never go into any event, any project to compete. He would always go in to win. And that, that winning mindset, that winning mentality, you know, for me is what makes all the difference. That you do not see yourself as a struggler, you do not see yourself as a statistic, as just one of the so of the numbers. You see yourself as a champion, you see yourself as a winner, irrespective of, with all due respect, but irrespective of whosoever the competitors may be. And that you refuse to give that excuse of the competition as a reason why you don't dare, as a reason why you don't dream or you dare to reach for that particular goal that you know you should be gunning for. And you know, for me, that's just what is so instructive and you know, such a very, very powerful lesson. I, I like the way Tim Ferriss puts it. He says that if you are feeling insecure, remember that others are feeling insecure too. So don't overestimate the competition and under, end up underestimating yourself. I think it was the CEO of uh, Costaris Motors, Cosmos Matico, I, I love the way he said it. He said, don't for the fear of controversy deny yourself of any life experience. Another way to say that is don't for the fear of the competition deny yourself of any life experience. Don't make that your excuse because that's what many people do. They say, look, I'm, ah, yeah, I, I, have you ever thought about it this way that the reason you and I are probably struggling at the level that we are struggling on is because we are not dreaming big enough. We are not daring big enough. We are not reaching high enough. I, I, have you ever heard of traffic congestion in the air? Perhaps in the future when maybe we have flying cars, yes, maybe you'll hear of traffic congestion in the air, but right now the ground is congested, but the sky is open and free for anyone who would dare to reach, for anyone who would dare to dream big. And that's the interesting thing. Only few people are gunning for those very big goals. So be among those handful of people. Be among the very few. And what do you know? You may just come first among those very few people who are gunning for those very big goals those goals that get the blood in your veins pumping and cause you to leap out of bed and even if you don't come first here's what is going to happen you would have gotten the satisfaction of knowing that you gave everything to tr to trying to achieve that goal you gave it your all you gave it your very best shot as the winner and as the champion that you know that you are you dare to dream where others wouldn't dream to death